Tesla predicted that in the future, people would be able to communicate using only their thoughts and dreams. This raises concerns about privacy and control. Ninety years after his death, a selection of secret government documents investigating Nikola Tesla was made public. These papers revealed some chilling predictions about the future of technology and society. My ear barely caught signals coming in regular succession, which could not have been produced on Earth. Tesla envisioned a world where humans could communicate directly through their thoughts and dreams, transcending language barriers and promoting greater understanding between people from different cultures. He even proposed the concept of a world brain, a global network of interconnected minds that could revolutionize the way information was shared and accessed. Tesla believed that the human brain was a radio receiver and transmitter. In his quest to actualize the idea of transmitting thoughts, Tesla designed what is known as the Tesla coil. This invention was primarily a high-voltage transformer intended to produce electrical discharges. What's most intriguing is that recently disclosed American government documents highlight a remarkable prediction by Tesla. A future where people would be able to communicate using only their thoughts. These documents show that Tesla theorized that thoughts could be channeled and transmitted using specific frequencies, a kind of wireless communication through thought. This notion, although sounding like science fiction, was something Tesla seriously believed in. Nikola Tesla was known for his eccentricity and unconventional thinking. He firmly believed in the interconnectedness of all things, and this belief extended to the realms of science and the human mind. Although Tesla's scientific discoveries rank among the greatest of his generation, the myths surrounding him have turned him into a cult figure. Conspiracy theorists believe that Tesla created a death ray, a wireless energy system that could transmit electricity around the world, and that the government stole all his research documents after his death. In 1899, Tesla believed he had established contact with extraterrestrial beings. He picked up some rhythmic sounds on a radio receiver and became convinced that they were of alien origin. The following year, the Red Cross asked Tesla to predict humanity's greatest achievement in the next century. He replied by admitting that he might have already achieved that by receiving a message from outside our planet. 22 years ago, while experimenting in Colorado with a wireless power plant, I obtained extraordinary experimental evidence of the existence of life on Mars. I had perfected a wireless receiver of extraordinary sensitiveness, far beyond anything known, and I caught signals which I interpreted as meaning one, two, three, four. I believe the Martians use numbers for communication because numbers are universal. In a 1909 letter sent to the New York Times, Tesla claimed that the sounds came from Mars. To be sure, we have no absolute proof that Mars is inhabited. Personally, I base my faith on the feeble planetary electrical disturbances which I discovered in the summer of 1899 and which, according to my investigations, could not have originated from the Sun, the Moon, or Venus. Further study since has satisfied me they must have emanated from Mars. Tesla kept detailed diaries throughout his life, recording his thoughts, ideas, and dreams. These diaries, which contain material spanning over 30 years, offer a glimpse into yet another of his fascinations, the world of dreams. Tesla's interest in dreams was closely tied to his curiosity about the human brain and its workings. He was particularly intrigued by the brain's electrical activity, which led him to explore the concept of brainwave cycles. Among these cycles, Tesla focused his attention on the theta brainwave pattern. Theta brainwaves are associated with deep relaxation, creativity, and the dream state. They typically occur during sleep, meditation, or states of deep concentration. Tesla recognized the significance of these brain waves, believing they held the key to unlocking unexplored human potential and harnessing the power of the mind. In his pursuit to understand and harness theta brain waves, Tesla conducted a series of experiments. 
He developed devices and machines intended to stimulate the brain to produce and work with theta waves. Although his work in this area is less documented than his electrical inventions, Tesla's fascination with the potential of theta waves was evident in his writings and correspondences. Tesla's interest in dreams and theta brainwave cycles was not merely an intellectual pursuit, it was intertwined with his visionary ideas for the future. He believed that by harnessing the power of theta brainwaves, individuals could tap into their creative potential and achieve remarkable feats. Nikola Tesla's fascination with dreams and theta brainwave cycles offers a unique glimpse into the mind of a scientific genius. While his work in this area remains less explored than his electrical innovations, it reflects his holistic approach to understanding the world around him. Tesla's belief in the untapped potential of the human mind and his visionary ideas continue to inspire scientists, inventors, and dreamers to this day. The idea that humans could communicate directly through their thoughts and dreams runs into the limitation that the brain's electrical activity isn't strong enough to be detected remotely. And even if it were, understanding and translating thoughts would require a significant leap in our understanding of the brain and consciousness. Many considered Tesla's vision too ambitious or even impossible. His predictions received mixed reactions from the public and the scientific community. While some were enchanted by the prospect of communicating with thoughts alone, others expressed doubt. Beyond the technical aspects, the idea of thought transmission raised deep ethical and social concerns. The possibility of people communicating without barriers pointed to a world without secrets. Despite the challenges and concerns, the allure of thought transmission hasn't waned. Research on brain-machine interfaces has been rigorous, aiming to establish a connection between brain signals and external devices. Tesla's vision of thought transmission remains a lively topic of debate, with technological advancements constantly shifting the boundaries of what's possible. While we should remain open to the transformative potential of future technologies, it's equally crucial to be aware of their implications. At age 86, Tesla died alone in room 3327 of the New Yorker Hotel. He remained single throughout his life, staying celibate and boasting that his chastity helped him focus on his work. In the end, Tesla's legacy extends beyond his inventions. It encompasses his relentless curiosity about the mysteries of the human mind and the boundless possibilities he envisioned for a world where dreams and technology converged. We are left with the following questions. What if Nikola Tesla was right? Is the world we perceive just an illusion? Is it better to know the truth or remain in ignorance? We've deciphered other issues to show that our life might be a grand simulation and that we live an illusion of reality. And this next video talks precisely about that.